Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. And I, I, I kind of want to begin this one with a trigger warning. There's actually nothing in what I'm going to say that I think is genuinely offensive to anyone, but I also recognize that when, when one talks religion or politics, and I won't be talking politics, just religion, it, it sometimes <laughs> winds people up. So please, if, if, if you're concerned about it, just come back to this one at, at, when you're in the right frame of mind for it. But having said all that, I'm really not going to say anything contentious to my mind. I was talking with uh, a, a new friend, uh, actually one of, uh, one of, one of my kids' uh, boyfriend, girlfriends, and we were talking about religion and spirituality, and they said that thing that I'm sure you have heard many times, you've maybe said many times, oh, well, I I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. But when we explored it further, they went on to say, well, actually, I'm kind of anti-religion, and they had a lot of reasons for being anti-religion that, you know, are to do with a kind of a dogmatic intolerance that is often present in some parts of certain religions. But for me, being spiritual or being religious, they're not two different choices. They're two different aspects of one thing. And in trying to explain that to, to them, I, I, I shared this metaphor. I said, when, when you dance, some people really feel the music and, and, and it just, it moves them. They almost can't help, you know, the toes starts tapping and the body starts moving and, and they can't help themselves. The music almost takes them over. And I said, that's spirit. That's being spiritual, being moved by the music of life. And then I said, but, and both my daughters have danced. My youngest daughter still is, is on a career path to be a professional choreographer and dancer. And there's something about learning the steps of certain dances. Now, not all dances have them, but even within forms like contemporary, there, there are certain movements, there are forms that when you learn them, it allows that, that, that deeper musicality to express in a, inside a structure, and that structure can be very formal, like a waltz or a tango. And the form that the dance takes is religion. Now, if you take somebody who is spiritual but not religious, in a literal sense, that would be the equivalent of a dancer who really could feel the music in their body, but doesn't necessarily have a language of expression. So at its best, it can be beautiful, but sometimes it can just be kind of chaotic and even self-indulgent. Similarly, if you take a technical dancer, somebody who has learned all the forms, but has never really learned to feel the music, then even though those forms may look beautiful, there's an emptiness at the heart of them. And you can almost feel the, it's like a false front. It's not deliberately false, but they're doing all the right things, and yet you're not feeling anything underneath it. But some of the most beautiful dance that I've seen in my life is when both are present. There is that incredible musicality and aliveness encapsulated in a beautifully executed form. Now, to my mind, this does not mean you should be religious or you shouldn't be religion or you should be this religion instead of that religion. It's just a way of recognizing that this deeper feeling, this deeper level of life that people who would say they're spiritual 
are referring to when they say they're spiritual. Cannot be killed, cannot be destroyed by putting a form around it, a set of practices or rites or rituals. And if you are moved to learn practices and rites and rituals, if you love practices and rites and rituals, they can become so much more meaningful as you allow more and more of the music of life, the spirit, to move you. So I, I hope that's helpful. And I hope whatever is meaningful to you in terms of a form, you, you can allow it to fill up with this spirit. And if, if you have been a rejecter of forms, maybe this will open you up to at least explore some of the many, many beautiful forms that spirituality has taken over the course of time in the history of the world. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring, and I'll talk with you soon.